so we have seen the right distribution we have seen the left distribution now if we flip the heart again and if we see the posterior surface we can see the further course of the left circumflex yes let us do that now we are looking at the posterior surface of the heart this much portion of the left circumflex will come on the posterior part and it is going to anastomose with the right coronary we have already seen the right coronary was there so the right coronary comes up to this left circumflex comes up to this and then there is anastomosis between these two and this is the artery called as piva this is the artery called as piva now remember one point students most of the time piva is a branch of right coronary that we have seen and piva determines the dominance of the heart if the piva is a branch of right coronary we say it is right dominance what is normal normal is when n3 is maximum this is normal peaking at n3 when do i call it left left shift when n1 plus n2 plus n3 is more than 80% and what is right shift when n n4 plus n5 plus n6 is more than 20% is that clear? Take care. Okay with the graph. Dipped in the aqueous medium and small wells are created in the gel. This is body and anterior to the body we have anterior longitudinal ligament. And if I want to draw posterior longitudinal ligament, where should I draw? Can I draw it here? No, I cannot draw it here. Why? Because it will be supraspinous ligament. If I cannot draw here, where I should draw the posterior longitudinal ligament behind the body do you appreciate behind the body will be posterior longitudinal ligament and anterior longitudinal ligament will be present anterior to the body okay prolonged absolute refractory period okay but when i stimulate during diastole what did what happened the heart now responded heart responded by by general by contracting but since that is an extra systole right that is an extra systole it is not the normal systole of the heart it's an extra systole because of the stimulus that we gave but this is followed by a compensatory pause because when the normal cardiac impulse so the major difference here will be the current so this is and chamber we have serum protein electrophoresis on agarose gel is a type of horizontal gel electrophoresis so you have an electrolyte solution and a gel slab and there is a cloth wick so that the both the sides are uh, dipped in the aqueous medium and small wells are created in the gel where we load the sample and then there is a power supply is must and then the protein will move towards the positively charged electrode depending upon now apocrine sweat glands please understand carefully the secretions of apocrine sweat gland by themselves there is no odor there is no smell but this secretion is actually metabolized by the bacteria and after metabolism by the bacteria this will give rise to body odor are you understanding 